Hello everybody and welcome back to another Overwatch Moments video. Today we'll be looking at some insane Baptiste Matrixes. I really hope you guys do enjoy it and let's get straight into the clips. Now this clip might be the most satisfying thing I have ever watched. Reinhardt does approach the enemy team, nice and slowly sees a good chance for a nice earth shatter and throws his fire strike through the matrix completely annihilating everyone he knocked down. That was absolutely amazing. Matrix does a lot to boost this Roadhog's ultimate, but pair that with the nano boost. Oh man, that's that's a nasty wombo combo. Now, in this play of the game, a lot of the credit is only to the Widowmaker, but I can't help but just realize how much insane damage she does with a headshot through the Matrix field. The rest of her shots are all on her, amazing shots, but still that first shot, that's absolutely insane. However, in this next clip, we have yet again, of course, another Matrix shield, but this time Baptiste himself taking advantage of it, which is always nice, so he can get credit in the play of the game. Well, you see a Roadhog and you know the title of the video, so yes, it's another crazy wombo combo, but I have to give it to the Roadhog for actually flipping the direction and staying behind the Matrix field in order to keep the damage boost going. Using your enemy to your advantage is great, and this Genji deflects a Reinhardt Fire Strike back through the enemy Matrix field, dashes in with an ultimate for such a clean and beautiful cleanup. Talk about a satisfying D.Va ultimate, gotta admit she really pulled it close by getting rid of Baptiste's immortality field in order to secure the play of the game. If you guys are enjoying this video, then why not hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect this to be that great of a play, but a clean ultimate with some clean shots and a very, very smooth last kill does come in quite clutch. Now 
know this guy pulls off an amazing ultimate sneaking in from behind for a huge earth shatter, completely disrupting the enemy team. I'm sure they didn't see that one coming. The flank in Reinhardt isn't a common one, but man, it is an effective one. Like it's not over yet. Talk about shutting down a Genji in style. Diva thought ahead in this play as she sees the enemy Orisa throw down her shield, allowing her to fly through and throw her ultimate. No one else on the team can block it, and well, there you go, six man kill. If you guys are enjoying this video, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what clip has been your favorite thus far. Faro sees the opportunity here, jumps in from behind and sends out her ultimate down a very narrow hallway. There's literally nothing they could have done. What? What? Now. now this is some very quick thinking as our Junkrat is at 10 health, Reinhardt tries to charge but he throws a slick trap in order to back up and get healed by his support. Not only was this a smooth high noon ultimate, but he does have some very slick shots at the end, achieving him a smooth and clean 5 man kill. This is a superb use of Widow's ultimate, landing her shots like a beast. This makes me want to play Widowmaker, man I, I'm gonna jump in, miss all my shots and quit, but this makes me want to get good at her, she, she's so satisfying to watch. Patience may be a virtue, but this Orisa knows exactly what she's doing as she waits for the right timing to throw her grav pull and completely annihilates the enemy team by pulling them all off the ledge. Up 
For our last clip, enjoy a not so satisfying high noon. We all know the feeling, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, consider subscribing, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. To crime without